Hey, so what's going on, people? Normally, I would do these little monthly sneaker release recap things at the beginning of, well, closer to the beginning of the month or whatever. Usually, it's the first Sunday. That's how it's been the last long time. This is the first time when it's not. And honestly, the only reason that I'm doing it like this is because I recorded some videos earlier, and I figured, you know what, let me go ahead and just knock this out, and then I can just be completely done. You know what I mean? Because it's nice to kind of get all this stuff out of the way, you know, then I can just put some free time into some other stuff. So whatever I get into on Sunday, which will likely be nothing, will go on uninterrupted without all this YouTube stuff, right? So that's kind of what the deal is. But <clears throat> it doesn't much matter, really, I don't think anyway. I just like to explain things to people in case they're curious why stuff is happening. Because I'm one of those people. Sometimes I do get just a little curious. But anyways, so... If anybody wants to jump in and join, there is the link pinned in the chat and all that good stuff. But for now, I'm just going to get this screen shared and we're just going to go ahead and jump on into this as soon as I get that up here anyway. Because, again, I don't want to drag this thing out it's too long or whatever. I'm sure people usually come and go like throughout these things. They'll probably get a, get a handful of people pass through. You know, it's all in fun anyway. It doesn't much matter what the view count is now, does it? Well, some people would say it does, but... And I get where they're coming from. I just I just don't agree. Let me kind of widen this out just a little bit if I can. There we go. That's somewhat better, I guess. But anyway, so first up, had a couple of the of the Griffey pack. I don't know if it was a pack or what what you want to call it, but they were all basically in that same colorway, right? I honestly can't remember the name because I don't really pay attention to everything. But these they kicked off with the Air Griffies. They also had an Air Max 90, and there was a Vapor Max Plus. Of course, me being the kind of guy that I am, the, the pair that I would prefer would be the Vapor Max Plus. But the thing is, I'm not a baseball guy. So for that reason, and honestly, that reason alone, I decided to not get them. But nothing against them. I think the colorway is solid, right? Like the teal, the white, the black, all that stuff. All that is just fine. But it's just what it stands for is what got me. But nothing against Griffey. You know, I'm sure he's an all right dude. I just couldn't really get into, into this particular release. You know, it's just not me. But anyway, so moving right along after that, there was the Nerf pack, right? And so on here, I don't really know what the deal was, like as far as why these shoes came into existence, but they did. For whatever reason, Reebok and Nerf decided, hey, we need to get together and start taking over the world. And I don't think they did, honestly, but they at least tried. And that's got to mean something, right? Now, as I look at these shoes, I don't know how hard they tried, but they put them out there. You can't say they didn't. No one's going to take that away from them. I just question how much people were into them because, again, given that I don't really pay a whole lot of attention to like how releases go necessarily, I'm usually in the dark on stuff like that, to be completely honest. But it is what it is. And then moving on from there, there's a couple in the beginning here. I'm just going to put a lot of like these pack type shoes, things that kind of release together or whatever, similar colorways and stuff like that. So this is the from the Power Rangers pack. That's what this one was. So... Looking at this, you got the yellow ranger, you got the pink ranger, which, God, that shoe looks awful. I'm not sure what the model was. I'd have to pull, pull up the uh, picture again. Black ranger, of course, the megazord, and then the red ranger. Now, out of all of these things, in a way, I'm drawn most to the question because it's a question, but I really don't like any of them, to be completely honest. Like, this one could have been fine. The Yellow Ranger could have been fine and maybe some different colors or something, but something about that big red piece on the side just isn't really doing it for me. And then past that, everything else, minus the, the Black Ranger one isn't bad, but I just, I, don't, I think I just don't like that model. So none of these were really good in my opinion, but people... Maybe people are buying them. I don't know. If Homegrown Kicks was around, I'm sure he might be into them because he's like a Power Rangers kind of guy. Hey, what's Kevin Martinez, what's going on? Sorry, I didn't see the messages because I was, had that blocked. 
ew to all of these. Yeah, man, like these are not good. Like, I don't know what the deal was. Like, it, it's just like, it's just bad, <laughs> you know, it's just bad. But, and, and it wasn't like it was like a, a grade school theme or whatever. It wasn't like, oh yeah, they only came in sizes of like grade school, like seven or whatever. No, these were like men's size shoes. I, I think I saw somebody like buy these. Maybe E Money bought them or something. But yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy. I wouldn't accept as a gift. I would just have to pass on those all around. And but one thing I am curious about is why there was no Blue Ranger in that group. I looked. I didn't see a picture, but the pictures I did see didn't make me want to look hard. So there's that. Moving on, got, got a couple Air Maxes. Now, I am an Air Max guy. I've said that time and time again. And this top one, the cork one, I wanted those, but I didn't know when they were coming out because originally it was like June 15th-ish or something, and then it just mysteriously changed, but no one, I, I couldn't find what it changed to. And I don't know if they ever actually did come out or not. But if they did, like in the States anyways, if they did come out, I would probably buy them. But, you know, yeah, he's saying he wouldn't take those as a gift. Either. Yeah, yeah, I don't blame you. Let's see. They did off. Yeah, I, I want to say in the promo picture, I saw five shoes. But again, I, I was only going to dig so deep. And they also came out with this laser. The uh, laser was at a 90. So that was, I don't it, it has a weird look because it has like that, it looks like somebody made it in woodshop class or whatever, like it has that kind of vibe to it. But at the same time, I do like it. And I'm not sure exactly why, maybe it's because it's different, you know? But I look at it and I'm like, that, that's something that I could wear. I mean, the colors themselves are solid, right? The design is, you know, I guess that's hit and miss depending on who you ask, but I think I'd be cool with it. You know, for the for the right price. I don't know that I it'd be like a run out and buy it at full price sort of thing, but uh, these these I probably would. I think, was that like, yeah, I I think I'd do that for those. So I need to see if those are still in stock anywhere and get that figured out. And these ninety sevens. This is the Puerto Rico Air Max ninety seven. So I saw somebody talking about these and. Honestly, at first I thought it was just one of those standard silver 97s, but no, like on the bottom, and I don't have that picture on here, but on the bottom where there's the Nike logo, that's where they have the Puerto Rican flag, which I mean, I don't know that it's good to be like putting it on the bottom. It's like you're stepping on it and that's usually not okay to like step on flags or whatever, but either way. So they got this and it's different-ish right? You can't say it's not the, the exact same, but it's kind of lacking in the creativity department. Personal opinion, of course, but it is what it is. Do I prefer? I'm not a huge 270 fan, period. Like, they're fine. They're not terrible, but I don't, I don't think I've ever sang their praises. Let's see. I believe the outsole is blue, too. Yeah, I think so. I believe it is. And basically silver bullets. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's that, but with a very slight twist. You know, it's almost like as if someone had a silver bullet and they were like, yeah, I'm just going to customize it just a little bit, just enough to give it a little personality. But Nike did that. Now they're charging people, you know, whatever they charge for those. Probably one, is it one nine? No, that sounds like too much. 180 or 170 sounds right for a 97. I mean, I won't, okay, I won't say it sounds right, but it sounds accurate. There's a slight difference there. And now there's a whole bunch of, well, there's a few dunks anyway. So this is, I'm just, wow, the name completely escapes me. I remember this was the ambush. I cannot remember the fragment. That's what it was. The fragment was, eh. you know, like I, for years, I didn't know Bariqua was like Puerto Rican. So when Los Bariquas was big on, you know, and on Raw back in like 97, 98, you know, with Savio Vega and all those guys, I, I didn't know what that meant. I thought it was just like some kind of term they were using, like, you know, maybe like the name, just the name of the group. But if their name was actually like 
you know, translating to the Puerto Ricans, that's lazy booking right there, as Jim Cornette would say. And then again, he was around then, and he let that fly. I don't know. Let's see. Silver bullets equals static V2. Puerto Rico equals cream V2. Okay, I see, I see what you're getting at there. Yeah, the top of the fragment, the ambush just touched down the other day. Yeah, I that swoosh point on the very back, what does that feel like? Well, yeah, what does that feel like? Is it, because it looks like solid, you know, like it'll put your eye out or something, but is it more like a plasticish thing where it's kind of got some give to it or what? Like, I'm kind of curious about that. But ultimately, the shoe just looks weird to me. I mean, maybe that's part of the appeal of it, but everything that's going on in the back region, I am not a fan of. Yeah. Oh, what is this? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not for me, but, you know, most most things aren't, right? Like, if you listen to these things, every now and then I'll say that I like something, but I'll usually say I don't. Right, because I just have, I don't know what it is. I, I like other stuff, but usually like the, the things that pop up on like release calendars, it's just not my, it's just not me. They're clean in person. It feels rubbery. Okay, well that's good because I was curious about that. And then was like probably like a, is either the Arctic orange or the crimsons, and then the the blue one, the like the royal game. Royal blue, game royal blue, something like that. I do like these blue ones. They kind of remind me of those storm blue ones, which is one of my favorite ones personally. But when it comes to the dunk shape, it's it's so odd to me. I don't know. Maybe if I like put them on and like it, maybe then it wouldn't look so weird. But just when I look at pictures, it just seems a little bit off. You know, like like they feel. Like, they wouldn't feel how I want them to feel. But I also wear a lot of running shoes, so I'm so used to that, like, slim down fit or whatever. He says, the leather quality is something to behold. I'm no leather expert. Me neither. But it isn't what they're used to putting on dunks. Okay. Well, that's good, you know, because if you spend some money on something, you want it to at least be nice, right, quality-wise. Despite what I said about ambush, I don't like dunk highs. Okay, so maybe it's not just me then. But yeah, they just, I don't, I don't know what it is. It has like a very generic look, you know, like if that swoosh wasn't there, it seemed like, what is that, like some Walmart brand or something or what? What's going on? And then I forget the names attached to this because it was two names I've never seen, but another collab dunk. If anybody happens to know what the story is behind that, please feel free to share it. But I, I have no idea. But speaking on it as a visual, right? The colors I'm kind of cool with. It kind of reminds me of like Chicago things. Maybe it's got something to do with Chicago, but kind of reminds me of that. But at the same time, again, like the shape and all that stuff, that makes it not for me. But it, it could tell like a cool story or whatever. I don't, I don't know, man. Let's see, that shape, it's <laughs> like a fatter Jordan. Yeah, it, it's like it just, it's almost like the initial thing before they kind of like slimmed it down and cleaned it up, you know, like the prototype. But somebody's like, ah, you know what, it's good enough, and we'll just go with it. What's my favorite sneaker that I, like, that's, that's not a question I can answer. It's like my favorite sneaker, like, not to just blow you off or whatever, but like, it's, it changes like daily, you know, like there's no real favorite shoe, especially when you have like a lot, you know? So I do not have an answer for you on that. What's your favorite shoe? Well, we'll turn those tables around and see what your favorite is. Um, these right here, some, some more dunks, right? These time, this time around, they're low. Now, I, I'm not fully against the upper one, I think that was the candy one, maybe. I'm not fully against it. It's not for me. Like I don't, I don't normally think about like, oh, I wonder if I can pull off, pull this off or whatever. Like, but I just look at that, and it's it's not a color combination for me. You know, I wear some colorful things, but that's just not one that would make it into the lineup. And then under that, 
again, I, I didn't keep track of any of these names. This one, it looks like a, you know, like those pigs, like they're kind of like brown, like they have like the spots on them, like not the feral ones necessarily, but just like your standard outdoor pig. Well, I guess aren't all pigs outdoor pigs? Either way, it looks like a pig to me, right? This bottom one. I was just looking at, in the in the Bahamas, there's this, uh, there's Pig Island, right? I've never been there, but we were looking at it the other day at work. Some, something reminded me of it, so I was telling people about it, and then they looked it up, and they're like, oh, wow, this is weird. It reminds me of some of the pigs I saw on Pig Island, right? So that's what I think of when I see those dunks. They're not bad, but, you know, I think I'd, I think in this colored area, I think I'd prefer it just be one of those two, either the tan or the brown. Just pick a side. Write it out, and I'll be good. Let's see. My homie has an indoor pig. <laughs> is he uh, TJ Perkins? TJ Perkins has some pet pigs. And I think, uh, what's her name? Alexa Bliss also. I believe she has a pet pig. Let's see. Those look like outbound sneakers. Very GR or Easter. Yeah, exactly. My favorite that I have is the Nike React Vision so far. I, I recommend the Nike React Vision a lot usually in Yeezy videos because people, 350 videos, I should specify that. Because people always say, oh, the 350 is super comfortable. Got to get those. Like, no, like go buy yourself a pair of React Visions for like a third of the price or something and be just as maybe more comfortable and probably have like a wider selection of colors to choose from, again, for the price. Said I'd be Alexa Bliss's pet pick. <laughs> <laughs> man like <laughs> the comments that i get sometimes but yeah that and then an another easter color one which i think one of these well i don't know sometimes they do grade school things but i don't even know anymore but that one second verse same as the first though this michelangelo dunk at the bottom that one that one i could get i could get behind yeah you got yours for 100 yeah like so the first React Vision that I bought, I want to say I had a discount code or whatever, but it was it was retail price, but you know I had a discount code to use, so I didn't get like a deal like most people got. But man, like I would say they were worth to me. That's a shoe that's actually worth full price, right? Just because the construction of it is solid, it's super comfortable, lightweight, all that good stuff, man. Like. Well, you know, doing the little breakdown and looking on the inside and all, I was like, man, this is this is a solid shoe. It just sucks because it's like they didn't, they made them for like a, what seemed like a short while. When I look at like the React Prestos and other certain things, those lasted for a while, but the React Vision was just like gone. And I don't know why, because it was one of the better things they put out last year. But yeah, uh, these Michelangelo dunks, I tried for them. Like, I tried as much as a person like me will try for something. So I put in a raffle and I asked a friend of mine, like, hey, if you happen to have some time, can you put in a raffle thing for this? And he's like, yeah, sure, I'll see. Let's see. If React Visions were released as an off white take of, let's say, the React 55. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true, though. Man, I haven't pulled out of my 55s in forever. I think I just wore a pair of 87s not too long ago. Yeah, the Touch of Lime ones, because I remember doing my little promo video on those. But, yeah, I think the React yeah, Presto had staying power because the streets were saying how comfy. Yeah, it was, also, it was also the first React shoe that, because I get not everybody was into like the Element 87 look because it was, it was a little busy for some people. But the Presto had like a little bit of familiarity, you know what I mean? So people were probably already a little on board. But those, like, I, I wish I had bought more React Prestos. I think I have like three. I have the ID, I have the Tigers, I have the the leafy ones. Oh, yeah, and I have the, uh, the early one. The, it's like Nickelodeon Psychedelic Lava or something like that. But yeah, the, the React Vision, yeah, that one, it also got me a good number of views because I guess like nobody else was really talking about them or whatever. So that was cool. It was actually, 
I want to say it was one of my most, like in my top, t- I think it was in my top 10 videos last year for like, you know, uh, ad revenue or whatever. So yeah, the React Vision definitely did all right for me. I mean, it didn't necessarily make enough to like pay for itself because, you know, YouTube money is not that big when you're like a small time dude, but you know, it is what it is. Um, these, more dunks, right? I, I don't mind these Michigan ones. That's that's not a bad color combination. To me, it makes me think more of Wolverine, though, because I'm more into comics than into dunks. But hey, whatever. Let's see. The Red Vision. Okay. Hey, and then there's Homegrown Kicks. What's going on, man? Where, where are? What? Hey, how's everybody doing? Where are? I don't know what that second question means, but thank you for asking it. I do appreciate your time. Let's see. Man, oh yeah, there was a lot of dunks in June for whatever reason. Well, I don't think they need a reason. I think the reason is just that because people keep buying them, they're going to keep making them. Unfortunately, people weren't buying those React Visions and stuff like I would have wanted. Otherwise, those might still be around too. So out of the two, definitely going with the bottom one. Easily going with the bottom one. The top one, it's not awful. Don't get me wrong. But it's just it doesn't beat this university blue and white combination. So did the Wolverine, did the character Wolverine inspire the college or, well, what year did Wolverine's been around for? When did the college come around? Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to say Wolverine inspired it because he's, to me, more popular here in the Stewart household. He's the popular one. Let's see. It should have said, where are we in terms of shoes being looked at? Um, I mean, we're right here in terms of, I don't know, like there's a scroll bar on the side. It does You can look at that, I guess, if that helps you figure that out. I'm, I don't know, because I can't tell you like, oh, we're like 67% through. Like, I don't know, man. I just, I sit here, I read comments, I say things, I get on tangents, and then I try to pull myself back to paying attention to like the thing here. And then I'm just like, oh, look, green dunks, green and white dunks. Not as good as those green and black and white dunks, but hey, they're fine. I mean, I wouldn't go out of my way for these, these right here, definitely not. But I I don't hate them, I suppose. And these, who, I forget who this was. I want to say this was a concepts release. These Gel Light 3s, we're getting into like the collaborations pack. Let's see. Yeah, I, I want to say it was a concepts one. I'm not is either them or sneakers and stuff but no i think sneakers and stuff was um new balances later on do do you read venom speaking of comics dude like i need to get back into reading comic books like i get into it and then i fall out of it and then i get back into it one of the problems for me is like because i want to read a lot of things right but i also don't want to accumulate a whole bunch of comic books right so I was looking into it. I was like, maybe if I, maybe I should just break down, get like a new tablet and then just get like a subscription or something. So I don't read Venom to answer your question, but it's not because I don't want to. It's just because I need to get my life figured out. How do you read your comics? Because in the past, like that's what I would do was just read them on my, uh, on a tablet that nowadays is so old, it's just super slow. But I would really like to get back into it. Though I did... For a while, I was reading a lot of the graphic novels where, like, you know, like the Red Sun and the All-Star Superman or Hush, you know, things like that. Marvel, was it 1609 or something? I was reading a lot of those things because you can buy it just as a straight up book and just read that, you know, because I don't read like real books, but I'll read the heck out of some comics. Let's see, like Comixology, you do that or get omnibus trades. I, okay. You know, well, uh. Feel free to leave some suggestions down there or something, you know? Maybe we'll have to talk about comics someday. Again, I keep saying we need to do another, like, action figure thing. And when we do the action figures, that's often the time to talk about comics. So, yeah, because that's a a thing I like. 1602, yeah. Yeah, that was a... It was weird, you know? Like, I'd I'd have to reread it because it's been, like... Ooh, it's probably been, like, three years since I read that thing. But I did like it. That and uh, because I was in like a you could call it like a book club if you want to, but I wouldn't. It was just me and like maybe 
six or seven friends or whatever, we would just rotate through the group and pick a comic for a month, read that, and then talk about not a comic, but like the the book. So there were some other random things that I read because people would suggest some obscure things. I think I read like certain like the a pack of six or a, the first six like of Outcast, and then like I was like, man, this seems pretty cool, but I kind of forgot to go back to it. I think I didn't give Preacher enough time because I kind of fell out of that one. I, I was reading, I was like, I don't, I, I can't get into this, but it might be like a, a new show where you just need to like give it some time. And Homegrown is saying really good quality on the Omnairs or whatever that word is. Let's see, next action figure comic thing you do on there. I got some stuff. I can, okay. Um, do I have you? Are, are, do we follow each other on Instagram? Are you even on Instagram? Because that's like probably the easiest way to like actually talk to people. Because we can set up a so that way when I set the date for the next one, I can make sure you're available. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know what everybody's like times are like when they're free. But yeah, I know uh, Homegrown was a huge fan of those Omnanaires. Um, I know I didn't say that right, but just bear with me. These Union Fours. Um, I'm going bottom over top, I think. Very sure. Because the top ones are very close to some 920s or some 575s that I have. Something from New Balance. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because I know sometimes people have like different names on one versus the other. So yeah, I, I definitely have you on there for sure. So I'll I'll talk to you and we'll figure out a good time to do the next... Uh, comics and figures and all the other stuff live because i'm definitely looking forward to doing that again because it's so much easier to talk about because there's you know so i don't have to pull up a little list of things i can just go off of whatever comes up throw some movie talk in there if, if it makes sense you know speaking of which black widow comes out i guess next week so anybody going to see that i'm assuming so the Reebok Ghostbusters Insta Fury pump thing. I don't like the look of this. I I don't. I I've never really liked that silhouette and this twist on it. Not a fan. Let's see. The Union Fours were nowhere near as good as the first drop or the samples. Glad people who wanted them could cop up them. Yeah, I'm sure. Whoever got them is probably happy to have them, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like people buy stuff and then they'll be like super happy in the moment. And then in a lot of cases, this is. And then like after you get it and you look at it, you're like, all right, this is cool. But now I got to focus on this thing for this weekend. It's like, and I get it. I do the same thing, right? Like I got those phones the other day and I was pretty into it, you know? And then I got these Vapormax 2021s, and I was like, oh, man, now Vapormax 2021s. Yeah. Let's see. You saying streaming Black Widow on release date or waiting until it's free in October? I I need to see what my options are for, like, in prices. Because I, I'd consider going to the theater for it. There's a pretty nice one over here in Hampton, you know? So I, I haven't been to it since... What was that movie? Um, Invis the Invisible Man. Remember that? It came out like February-ish of last year. I haven't been in there since that. But Black Widow could be something worth breaking that streak. But at the same time, if it is going to be on some sort of streaming thing and I can just kind of like watch it here, especially if it's one of those things like, like how Amazon gives you when you rent a movie, you can watch it as much as you want for like two days or something. That might... That might be the thing to do, too. I can't remember what these new balances were in collaboration with, but I did like them. It was something about something about water and whatever else. It's kind of a cool color, you know. Not, not a whole lot else to say about it. <laughs> and then these these were a sneakers and stuff release, which actually ah, I didn't notice there's like a snakeskin thing on there. That makes me not like them so much. I thought that was just like, a design in there because you know I don't do snakeskin really it's just a personal thing but I think those I think 
those new balances right there on the screen are still on the sneakers and stuff site right now so go check them out yes water be the guide exactly see you guys why aren't you guys like youtube people you guys are like know the stuff i'm just like here it's i mean homegrown kicks is you know what i'm saying there so there is that he's got a channel homegrownkicks.com slash youtube Disney Plus is charging an additional thirty dollars. I mean, ooh. See, like I remember when they did that with um. Okay, for us, for me as a single man, like living in a like a single person household, that does not make sense. It does not. But I could see that extra thirty if you, let's say you're like a family person. You have like it's like it's you, it's the wife, it's the two kids, right? buying all those tickets to see the movie versus just like that one thirty dollars in that situation makes perfect sense it really does but the way i see it like if they're going to do this extra thirty dollars a month thing or a thirty dollars thing it should be like a monthly thing and you should get like all the movies that they all the new movies you know not just like one because they did that with um was that movie the, the girl um mulan i think right Mulan, I think they did that with her and something else, but I can't, maybe also Cruella, which actually I want to see that. I just, I don't know if my mom put down that extra 30. Hey, Dells, what's going on, man? Just sitting here talking about, we're kind of talking about shoes, but we're mostly not, you know, because it's hard to stay focused, you know? Let's see, those SNS 237 just restocked. I like the apparel better. I have never bought, like, shirt and shoes like from the same group or whatever i've always just bought the shoes i don't know i don't have a real reason as to why i just i just don't i guess because like i buy all my clothes from like pro wrestling tees <laughs> so I, I just when it comes to shirts i just don't even think about it let's see here so this is the skepta what's this air max tailwind it's there there are things about this that are cool but then there's I, i'm not sure i'm fully on board though it's like something about it is like just keeping me firmly right there in the middle to where it's like both sides i, I can see like saying no and i can see saying yeah but it kind of reminds me of the what's that of first i said spider-man because i was watching like the acs sneakers video and then I said something about the remember the game prototype on ps2 like it was basically like a bootleg version of carnage then i was like oh that actually kind of reminds me of the guy, the guy from prototype he's like yeah i would have said carnage and i was like yeah i don't know why i didn't think of that right because that's what it looks like you know like but either way especially because there was something on the bottom where it, was, it looked like you know when carnage makes his little knife hands or whatever you know Trying to one up one up Johnny Depp, I suppose. Nope, that shark bothers or shank bothers me. The box colorway chrome detailing, iridescent hit, and model choice are all nice. Yeah, see, the iridescent thing is one is the other piece that like if this was just straight like this, I think I'd be more inclined to say yes. What up, Robert Valentine? But when I look at this, I'm like, or look at like that iridescent thing then it makes me question it i'm like i don't maybe i don't like it so it's a very polarizing shoe it's got a lot of stuff that just makes me not sure where to stand on it you know and then there's some human racers these i've liked a couple they've released a lot i've liked maybe three of them and i honestly don't remember which ones they were but this one that's a lot of orange I don't know that it's for me. I'm very sure that it's not for me. I also don't like the NMD as a model, period. Some the, the best thing about the NMDs is that they come in like a variety of colors. That's why I have as many as I do. I probably got like, uh, I would say it's it's got to be under 10, right? I'd say we'll go seven. I, I probably have seven NMDs because they come in like a lot of good colors. But this one is probably better because i do like the xr1 and this seems to remind me of that but i wouldn't buy them you know what i'm saying 
a lot of the HU and these are back on the confirm. Well, I'm sure they are. I'm a, sometimes I put in raffles on things when I don't think I'm going to win it, but I'm, I don't put in raffles on these because I feel like I would win it, and then I would be like slightly upset with myself. The White Castle Puma Suede. I just bought my first pair of Puma Suede. Some of you guys may have seen that video, right? Yeah, I did put that up. So may, maybe some of you guys saw that video. It's my first pair of Puma Suede, you know? After almost 40 years on Earth, I finally got a pair. Saved up $65, and now I have it. So they're actually pretty decent, you know? Not amazing, because I did get one of the standard Puma Classics, right? Nothing to really brag about. But I'm cool with them. These, I, I might have tried for these if Pumas were on my radar back then, you know, before like three days ago. And if you saw that video, you saw the whole backstory of how that played out, which is, uh, which, which makes for a good thing. Because when you have shoes, right, it's good to have some kind of story with them past just saying like, oh, yeah, this is a cool shoe. And like now I have it. It's like, OK, that's fine, I guess. But when you can relate something to it, give it a little bit of substance, that's that's what I'm talking about. The tourmalines, I learned, I don't know if I said that word right, I learned that that is a gym, and that's where the green comes in. Some commenter on my on the YouTube told me that, so that was cool. I think I pinned his comment as a thank you to that. But yeah, these are very nice. I did not expect them to sell like they did, though. I need to watch that. Oh, yeah, it's definitely worth watching. I mean, the story is like the first maybe two minutes, and then I get down to business, do the whole review thing. Let's see. The new NMD model is, I didn't know there was, I saw a new NMD model, but I don't remember. It was like a, was it an R2 V2 or something V2? I, I can't remember. I got early access to all the colorways and declined. 220 for those isn't worth it. Two. 220 is a lot of money. I get that that's a standard price for a lot of things, but to you guys, right? Thinking of the shoes that cost 220 for retail, which of them are and are not worth that price to you? I honestly don't know what I would say is. Um, yeah, because maybe the phone posits like to some extent, right? I get there's extra technology in there, but at this point that technology has been around for so long that I feel like it shouldn't be expensive anymore. It's like when color TVs first came out, they were probably expensive. But if somebody told you now that like your TV was gonna have an extra $100 tacked on because it's in color, how would you feel about that? Let's see, the Puma video he did was good. Okay, Homegrown Kicks is a friend of mine, so there's a slight bias there. He likes all my videos. <laughs> Let's see, a majority of shoes that are priced at 220 aren't it, or 200 Yeah, most of the Yeezys are not worth 220 No, they are not. I just bought two pairs of Yeezys that are a retail of 220 and I had to pay more because of the whole UK thing. And they were worse than, like, they were even more not worth it. You know what I mean? Man, and then I, that's, I think I told you guys during the live first, wait, did I do a live? Recently? I don't know. I also have, I have two pairs of the brown ones. I know I said that today because I was recording a video, but I feel like I also said it to somebody. But yeah, so I have two pairs of those now. And what I'm, oh, I was talking to Homegrown at some point. Yeah, so that needs to be dealt with. But it'll probably be like a gift to my brother because, you know, why not? Yeezys, Vapor Max, and Jordan Retros, no. Um, on there, had premium quality. That would be an exception. Yeah. What I don't get was, like, remember when the 4D shoes came out and those were, like, $350, $400? They're, they're in the 200 sometimes 220 range now. But, man, I remember not even trying a pair on when I saw them in some mall just because I was, like, I'm never gonna own a pair of these. They're like three, four hundred dollars, you know. Now I have like three or four pair, right? Because they came down to like normal consumer prices. You know, we don't all have that homegrown kicks money. So got a couple 
Jordan's here. I think is the, I forget what these are called. Core purple metallic something or other, which is super simple and not great in my personal opinion. This lower one, I saw someone do a review of it, I want to say, and it's not bad, but it's a, it's one of those not for me shoes. You know how you can look at something and you're like, oh, this looks fine, but I wouldn't get it. Yeah, that's that's how I feel about those. And then there's a Jordan 1 low, whatever this thing was. I don't remember. There's a couple of them. I thought that, I thought that was from last month. Four Deep are ridiculously, yeah, man. Like, it's funny that the Future Craft is now below retail on Adidas. Oh, I didn't know that. Like, I got the last, the Future Craft that they did, like, where they kind of redid the, the, the first one or whatever. I got that one. And I paid normal price for it because it was on the confirmed thing and all that crap. And it was, it's good. Don't get me wrong. It's it's really good. It's worth, to me, to me. I would say it's worth what I paid for it because I think I could see that being like 200, right? But at the same time, not at all worth what it originally cost. Not at all. That low is hideous, both of them. Yeah, something about the upper one. I don't know. It's it's not like I'm inclined to kind of like it, but at the same time, I think it's that shimmer that is kind of making me say no. That bottom one is a no for sure. Like that's one where I'm just like, nah. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. And I saw these this upper dunk. Yeah, whatever. We're just gonna skip past it. Cause it looks very much like this one anyway. So I saw both of these Jordans at the store when I was getting my Vapor Maxes. And they're both kind of nice, actually. I, I saw them in pictures or something, and, or video or something. I was like, oh, those aren't those aren't bad at all. But then I saw them in person. I was like, wow, these are. I'm not trying to oversell it, you know. I never do, but I was like, this is this will be something worth getting. But I think it's got that whole mid thing going, so people are just kind of like, oh, I don't want to buy them because it's a mid. Amy would buy them because she knows that it's fine to buy mids. I also would buy them if I wasn't being super selective because I bought like a bunch of shoes over the last three months. I think it was 27. I think that was the count for today. I did my quarterly pickup video today. So that's why I happen to know that number off the top of my head and why there's a whole bunch of boxes over here just off camera. But welcome, Amy. You just came in at the right time because, you know, I remember you talking about buying some, uh, some, some mids not too long ago. Okay, so you bought the bottom of the Tropical Twist yeah, I, I think I'd probably lean that way because I have the Crimson Tint ones, and that's like very close to that top one, you know, like super close. So I just have to kind of say no to that because, I mean, don't get me wrong. It wouldn't be the first time I bought a shoe that looked like a shoe I already have, but, you know, that's just kind of within reason sometimes. These... These were a, a thing that kind of had people talking, right? There was some controversy or, well, I won't say controversy, but there was some thing about, oh, look, it's does it glow? Does it not glow? Blah, blah, blah. And then I guess they didn't really sell out either, so there was that whole thing. And people were like, oh, man, like, why aren't people buying these? It's like, well, maybe they made a lot of them, and maybe like as many people wanted them as usual, and they got them, and there's just some left. I don't know. But let's see, Gigantor says he likes the sixes. He says the adults don't glow, but the grade school do. And there's Jeezy. I haven't seen him in a while. What's going on? Welcome to the party. So, yeah, I, I mean, I don't like sixes. But I did learn recently from an Anthony Levine video that they are designed after, like, a sports car to some extent. Like, that back piece on the tops so will be like a spoiler or something. So I learned a little fact. So... That's why I don't mind watching videos of shoes that I have no interest in because sometimes you learn something and it makes that eight to nine minutes worth it. His videos are usually fairly short, so compared to mine anyway. These, I, these little tabs on the end, is this, is this a Kyrie? Is it the Kyrie or the Katie? The Kyrie? Yeah. 
I am not a huge fan. Yeah. Yeah, Anthony, yeah, Anthony Levine, he's he's a solid dude, man. Like when it comes to like the YouTube thing, he's probably personal opinion, he's probably the best one out there. Like easily, you know. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that are making some good videos, but as far as the people I watch, which is probably like maybe I don't know, it's probably like 15 people altogether that I like really watch. But yeah, I'd have to put him at the top. I can't think of anyone that's like coming close to doing what he does. And like with the consistency, the production, like, yeah, easily, hands down. But um, the Kyrie's like, I don't know, man. Like, I like that they take chances, but some of those chances just are not worth taking in some ways. I don't know what's up with this alligator nonsense going on here. It's, that's what I think, crocodile or something. Eh, whatever. Then you got some LeBrons. Um, the Miami Knights and the Sprites. How are you guys feeling about these? I've seen some chatter. You know, some people were kind of into them, waiting on them to come back and whatnot. I forget who it was because I don't really pay attention to some people, but somebody in like a sneaker battle pulled out, I, th- I want to say, they pulled out the lower one, the Sprite one, and they were like, man, like I just bought this one, like the original one, for like some absurd amount of money, like four digits of money, right? And he's like, oh, now I'm mad. It's like the next one came out and it was easy to get. It's like you weren't mad already just having spent like four digits worth of money on a pair of shoes, like on like a single pair of shoes. I would have, no, no. Like you, you pull yourself together, big guy. Let's see, top pair, no, bottom pair, maybe. Yeah, I could see that. I mean... I, I would I like <laughs> the thing for me is like the bottom pair that colorway I've had on a lot of a lot of things mostly Air Maxes the top one I could get behind if it was on something different like if if that was on a pair of those Flyknit Air Maxes from 2014 that top pair like on that model I mean yeah yeah that top colorway on that model instant buy. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. And more LeBrons. These top ones, this piece up here kind of reminds me of the Martin ones, which uh, I bought for my dad. When did those come out? Whenever those came out, you know? Because he's, he's a Martin kind of guy. He likes he likes shoes now, I guess, because I keep buying them for him. And <laughs> Yeah, poison. <laughs> well, that that's exactly what I like when I'm watching these like different lives and stuff. Like, I should, maybe I should start watching stuff and just. Well, no, I'm not gonna do that. I was gonna. What I was about to describe, I realized was basically a reaction video, but it'd be like live commentary. And I'm a I'm a firm believer in making your own content, not riding the coattails of someone else. Right. This is as close as I come to you know, that, because I am i don't own these shoes, you know, I'm just showing them and we talk about them. Yeah, the Fly Max Air, the Fly Max, the Fly Knit Air Max, man, that was one of my, like, that was the first, I didn't pay retail for it, but that was actually my first expensive shoe. I forget about that because I forget about the price or whatever, but because it was at a different time. And I always think that the, uh, that the, tw- 72 and 10. I usually think that that was my first expensive shoe, but no, it was the the Oreo Flyknit Air Max, I want to say, because they cost a lot of money. They were like 220 or something. It's ridiculous. Let's see. I kept the same energy with these. Not a must. Top pair. Okay, cool. Why does this thing always get triggered by like nothing? Like, I'm not even talking to that. All right, what is this? This is only on here because it's me we're talking about. I would really like to try out a pair of these Pegasus Trails, like the, I forget what it is, the Pegasus Trail 2, something like that. Because I did a review last summer. When, wait, when was August? Somewhere around August. I did a review of the, some Pegasus 36 Trails, and those things are freaking nice. I was running all through the forest and stuff to, you know, so, so I could do the review or whatever. 
it was a weird day, you know, like didn't know where I was going to know. Yeah, I'm just like, great. I ended up all far from the car. And I'm like, great, now I got to walk back. And then, cause like I had stopped, you know, cause I was going to walk back. And then I was just like jumped by all these mosquitoes. They were like, oh dude, let's get them. Right. And I was like, not today. And I just took off. Yeah. So I'm just like, luckily, like I usually had my stamina's pretty decent. Right. But man, I was not thrilled about it, you know, cause running on trails, like where you're not, that you don't know is weird. Cause you don't know when there's going to be like a turn or like what kind of terrain you're going to be on. I'm just going and hoping for the best. Then there was a part where I was like running and I was like talking to the camera. That was not the best decision. Could have died. Anyways, let's get back on track. Those Pegasus don't look bad either. I like Pegasus trails and wild horses, but haven't gotten a pair yet. I I don't know about the wild horse. I also have a pair of trail. What is that? The the New Balance 575. That was a made in the UK. That's like the nicest trail shoe I've ever seen, quality wise. It's crazy, right? It's like 220, but I got it for like one something. And I still need to breath bust out my Terex 2 Ultras. Keep forgetting about that. I bought a pair of LeBron 18s on sale. Which which ones? I'll play that. Which which one? I'm not even sure. I think that one is a LeBron 18, right? And then there's this, a Reebok, a Reebok question, something about draft night, right? I think that's what they called that. And that one, I don't know, man. Maybe it's one of those things you have to see in person. I, I saw these lower ones in person because those happen to be hanging around here. I would honestly think that living in like the Hampton Roads area that these questions would just be all over the place. But lately that hasn't been the case. Oops, got to step out in real quick chat. Hope I can jump back. Some hey, well, well, hey, if you can't, I appreciate you being here for the time that you were here. And I'll catch up with you about the whole comics thing. Let's see here. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know. I would expect that these questions would be around more, you know, because it's like, it's Virginia. That's where the dude's from, or at least in this part of it. But not so much. And then we got some space hippies, some O ones. This is like zero one because they have like one through four, and this is the one. These I would like to try out. Now that they're like not just flying off shelves, and who knows, like with other stuff, like Nike's got a track record for like selling something and then just like randomly getting rid of it. So I might have to jump on a pair of these relatively soon. It's I don't know. I'm not sure which one or whatever, but. It's probably just get one and just go with it, see what I think. You know, if I don't, again, I do have a younger brother that wears the same size, so lucky him. You guys try these space hippies at all or looked at them in stores or got any thoughts whatsoever on them? Be, be free to, like, put that down there in the chats and stuff. What is it? Oh, this waffle thing. Man, I do not like these shoes. I don't dislike them as much as like certain other things, but the back, the back, it's like, I don't like that. Let's see. Homegrown said he liked the top pair. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, sometimes like the decision for me also comes into, you know, also comes down to what color of these two things do I not have already? And then I just try to get, you know, something different, right? Because at this point, I mean, it's not easy because I have however many number of shoes I have. So there's going to be some overlap in there. But you can at least look at something. If something jumps out at you, it's like, okay, not that one. What is this? Is it a 500? Yeah, the easy 500. I don't like how these things look as a model. And I don't like how this looks as a colorway. So I don't like anything about this shoe. Uh, you guys, uh, where, where do you stand? But the, I mean, that's just me. You know, don't let me, don't let me sway your opinion. You know, sometimes, you know, it's just there's that one person that doesn't like something. But this, the bottom piece here, that is not good to me and then it's just too it's so plain the rest of it i hear the quality is great like super soft and all that crap but it's like 
yeah, like, I don't care about, like, having high-quality ugliness. Like, who wants that? And then you have this, this 700, and this thing is just as generic as they come. It's like, who wants that, right? I mean, I'm cool with, like, some of the other things that the Yeezy line has done, but, like, I'm not going into this just, like, praising everything, right? Like, I've still got some standards, right? I've still got some some kind of idea of what I actually want to have on my feet. And this right here, not it. I've seen some decent 700s. Don't get me wrong. They do happen. They just did not happen this particular time. All big and just 700 and ugh. I also just don't like big branding on the side of things. Remember a couple years ago, they did the, is an Air Max Plus, I want to say, and also maybe something else. Was there a 97? No. Might have just been the Plus. But they did, like, the overbranding where it was just, like, a huge, like, TN on the side or, like, a huge Air Max logo on the side. Couldn't stand it. Couldn't stand it. Not one bit. The waffles are interesting. Yeah, they're they're interesting. It's <laughs> That's the way to put it. And the 700. Say, now, this, this 700 right here. Now, honestly, had I known about this one coming out, I might have actually tried for it because this one doesn't look bad. I like the plainness of it, right? Because it's plain, but in a good way. And I also do I? I don't. No, I do. I do have the Wave Runners. That's the same model, right? Yeah, B1. But this one I would actually like want to have. I just have the wave runner because like I wanted to see what all the fuss was about. And I get and I'm not trying to brag or anything. It's just sometimes like some of these works out for you. It's like if you have no just randomly win a raffle, it's like, well, let me the only way I'm ever gonna see what this thing is about is if I actually go and pick these up. So then you just go and you pick it up. And that's essentially what happened with those wave runners last year. I was out there leaving Panera and it's all like, hey, try to you want these? It's like Mm, yes, maybe. We'll see. I'll just, I'll go with it, and we'll figure it out later. And now we get into some other crap. This. Now, this lower one, the cinder, excuse me, the clay, that was the one that I kind of wanted more, right? Because I like the, the 350 clay, like, that they did in normal materials. I thought that was, that was one of the better 350s. I didn't care for the top one, the cinder, because for one, the you would look at it and think it's a black shoe, but the, right, the original cinder wasn't a black shoe. So I don't know what this one is. Um, look at that, freaking party crashers. <laughs> um, the original cinder wasn't black. It was like a grayish purple, so that was weird. The black statics, excuse me, the, the black statics were not black. The cinders were like a little closer, but like neither one was really like black. And so I wonder, like, with this being that weird material, wh what are you really going to get? You know? But yeah. And then there were these two, which I saw close up and have shared my thoughts at least twice. I never had these. Is it, have you never had any because you don't want any, which is common? Or is it because the ones you wanted just didn't work out for you? which is also common because I meet a lot of people that like some Yeezys, but like they're, they like maybe three or four of the ones that of the millions that have come out. Homegrown. Oh, say terrible. 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 And there you go. Straight there from Cleveland Brown. Speaking Those of terrible. Our awesome. marshmallow terrible. Both pair. <laughs> <laughs> There was also this that happened, the 450, which looks like it would be so uncomfortable to walk in, like, because it's not flat on the bottom. Maybe it becomes flat over time. Yeah, they're like, um, they're like little booties. Um, women will know, and when I throw this out there, women will know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, Cause women, they have like these little ballerina type shoes that they can fold up and put in their purse. So when they want to take their heels off and put those on, but that's exactly how those fold up. 
I am so sick of so many people trying to convince themselves that these are a good shoe. Now, there's a such thing as a shoe that's bad that, you know, over time you can start to say, eh, these are all right, but these are not it. That's just garbage with flexible rubber on the bottom with Kanye's name on it. If you try and convince yourself that these are good shoes, it's only because you like Kanye. There's nothing wrong with liking Kanye, but don't lie to yourself in this terrible manner. You don't love yourself if you tell yourself these are good. No, because they're not good. They're just, I don't know. It's like me getting a pair, like I assume only because of the way my pickups tend to work that I will eventually have one. I'm not like, oh man, I can't wait <laughs> for it, but I want to see for myself, like, how bad is it? <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of had that same kind of feeling. And then th there she is. Hey, I'm all laying down. Hey, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, I'm sitting down, homegrown is just kind of wandering about aimlessly, it looks like. Exactly. Just pacing and trying to think things out. <laughs> and Slick50 says, trash can juice. See? Yeah. Now, I mean, I would buy... I don't like these Adelaide, what was this thing called? I was just looking at it. Like these Adelaide fours. I don't Those really are terrible too. You know, it's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those look probably, like probably the better sandals off. that you buy your 80 year old Aunt Merle because she needs something orthopedic and to let her feet breathe. And she'd That's be walking horrible. around in some thick wool socks. No I, I like ugly sandals. <laughs> <laughs> I have lots of them. I wear Birkenstocks. So I really well, Birkenstocks are not bad. Those are and I wear those them. with wool socks. <laughs> See, like, I, I'm one of those people, like, I, as some of you might know, like, I have a lot of slides, right? I've probably got, like, a good 10 pair, just, and they don't oh, even, that, yeah. that, that this are here to be worn indoors, you know? I didn't, I just bought my parents some slides, so when they come to visit, they have their own pair now. But I I don't wear them anywhere else, you know, unless I'm I have one pair for like taking out the garbage or something, you know. But I I just can't bring myself to wear a pair and like go actually do some errands or something, because I feel like if I need to get away from something, that's going to be a hindrance. <laughs> Let's see upgraded jesus sandals see <laughs> yeah i i could definitely see that like it's, uh, it's sometimes funny. i just wonder what, what are these people doing uh, if they're not badly priced i might buy them well i like them <laughs> if they are badly priced give it a month and i'm sure they'll all be on sale <laughs> <laughs> i'll be hitting the um outlet right. oh yeah they'll they'll be there they'll be in i mean adidas like outside of their ultra boost and like well the little flagship shoes or whatever, they are quick to throw some stuff on sale. Like quick. That Go uncle ahead. that barbecues a lot, those sandals are for him. <laughs> 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 and that's, I look at him like and he's you know he's gonna try to sell them to you. Like not sell you on the idea of like, man, needs to put them. I don't know why you're always walking around in those J's. <laughs> 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 Better get you some of these. <laughs> Go down to the Walmart. It's like, what? No. <laughs> no, the I mean, reason I don't buy these is because they've just never been appealing to me. Okay. I mean, they don't have a whole lot of visual appeal no. compared to other comfortable shoes. Right? Uh, I, I say that, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I have a whole bunch of 350s. Nobody is... Yeah, I'm not gonna try to say I don't, right? But I'll tell you honestly, like the visual is weird, and so that's why I usually like if, if we're talking straight comfort, there's like I could rattle off like a, a good handful of other things to go with over those, right? Yeah, you can go yeah. buy right now for. There are so many other Adidas that are more comfortable than Yeezys, but yeah, yeah. So many, and don't get me wrong. Like when it comes to like that 
that type of cushioning that the that the Yeezys have and like the sole, yeah, that's that's untouchable, right? Like that. But not everybody even likes that. You know, like some people don't like it to be super squishy under their feet. They want something right. with more stability. Right. So there's that piece of it. And because the upper is so not just cloth, fabric, whatever, there's no real structure to it to like make your foot feel like it's like secure. It's, you're basically wearing a sock with a sole embedded yeah. into it. I was going to say, other than the only thing that Yeezys have over a lot of other Adidas is they're lightweight because there's nothing really to an Adidas like you. I mean, uh, Yeezy, like you said. Yeah, that's that's it. Like, but again, if I was to pick up a pair of those and a pair of um, what do you call them? Like the React Visions that we were talking about earlier. I'm pretty sure that the React Visions are also lighter. And they're more aerodynamic. So if you again, if you need to like get away from the danger, <laughs> like you know, you can you can move on away. But um, on the other end of comfort, though, the Puma suede is not the most comfortable shoe. I learned that yesterday, I think. <laughs> oh, Monday. Oh, Monday was yeah, because I had to wear them to work, so I could be like, hey, I have some Pumas now. Leave oh, me alone. Wow. <laughs> but um yeah they they aren't the most comfortable but i do kind of like them they've got a good visual to them yeah and i was gonna say those those visually look nice they look cool. having to pop up it was like the triplex uh black and the triplex i can't remember what the other one was called but was like these these look pretty decent so i might have to start paying attention to the puma now some of them are a little too busy right some puma releases in general that is but this I, th I think I'm. I think I'd prefer on the more subtle side of the Puma brand. I think some Pumas are coming out. With, I'm all saying Pumas. Pumas. <laughs> 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 but there's some gummy bear ones coming out. I want. I think. I they're, like they're, saw those. they're on the. Um, and all my friends. They're on the sneakers app. I like those. They're called the Habaro or whatever. Yeah. That, that, yeah. A Haribo? Yeah, something like that. Well, I get I think it's named after the candy. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know that brand. I like I remember I, I used to eat them back in the old days. You can't in the old days. Oh no, I mean like they, they still make them. I just don't eat them anymore. <laughs> so you know I'm the oldest one on the panel here. <laughs> the old days. So yeah, I should, should clarify that. Like, yeah, they are still around. They're still there, but because they're, they're on the sneakers app right now, waiting to uh, be added. And I was, I, you know, I'm flipping through the sneakers app, and I'm like, "Huh, Shoes Up just did a review about Puma suede's. These look a lot nicer, and they're on the forefront of my mind. I was like, let me check these out, and yeah, they've got some pretty nice colors." And then it really intrigued me when I saw a gummy bear hanging from a chain on the side of the shoe. So, hmm, interesting. Not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> <laughs> They're cute for, I mean, for you know, a s small feet people. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, like I, I have uh, I'm wearing them, okay. small feet. I guess I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I can, I can fit some nines. You know, sometimes that's my preference, even though I have like a nine and a half for the most part. But sometimes I do like to go down to the nine so I can have a more snug fit, you know, especially if I wear these thin socks. But, you know, every time I see one of your videos, I'm like, what is his true size? Is it a nine and a half or is it a nine? <laughs> it's because I know you say nine and a half a lot, but then I know sometimes you'll end up with like a nine or something like that. Yeah. Because, there are things where, like, like in what is it, like those ZX 8000s and stuff like that, nine and a half, like your average person would probably be fine going true to size, right? If you have a foot like mine, you'd probably be fine with it. But some people, they like a little more room in their shoes. So that's why I leave it at that. But I don't. So that's why 
I don't mind going down. But again, with the whole brother situation, that's I'm like, all right, let me just start buying nine and a half across the board. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but speaking of which, now we're at the point where I'll show you. Obviously, I'm not going to show everything I bought in June because that would be crazy. I'm just going to pick the top three, right? <laughs> and when I say the top three, I mostly mean like the three that were closest to me when I sat down. Right. So, <laughs> so we'll lead. Oh, let me let me get on the big screen, and you guys can do the same if you would like. But uh, let me get one here on the screen. So first and foremost, of course, got this right here, the VaporMax 2021. I wore these today, ran off to work, did some errands and stuff after work. So much better than those 20s, man. Like everything that I wanted them to fix, they fixed. So no complaints whatsoever. And like I was saying in the review, the price is also like more in line with what you would expect to pay for something like that. But that could just be like a big strategy on their part to like make them expensive last year. So that way when they're cheaper this year, you feel like, oh wow, look, they're cheaper now. <laughs> so I don't know. Nike is crafty like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then let's see, pull this up just a little bit further. The uh barely green all star twenty twenty one foam posit one. So I saw that at the store. Got this nice little colored thing going on and got some shiny sort of whatever's happening here. It's a pretty cool shoe, in my opinion. You know, light green on the back side, this hologram thing going on. Maybe you can kind of tell somewhere in there. Yeah, so these, again, I did have to pay what they wanted me to pay for these for the most part, but I had a you know, if you shop with Finish Line often enough, you get yeah. those $20 coupons every now and then. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So I had two. I used one recently or something because I redeemed some points to get like two of them. And I'm thinking, I wonder if I can use two of these at once. Some some web pages will let you do all kinds of things like that. They won't. And this, I'll show you the this one here came in yesterday. I like that box. I don't remember what day it was, but you know, more of that eco-friendly stuff going on, right? So this is the SBD A6 Gel Light 3, right? It's got all this, like, I don't want to say fancy, but all this. Yeah, that's fancy. High, it's high quality. High you know quality. What I'm I but saw the like, thumbnail and I said, ooh, that's fancy. Yeah. <laughs> Very so high. These, these are pretty nice. Like, they got this foam up here. I meant to put an annotation in the video, but like it's plastic on the outside, but the inside you can see through there. It's just foam in there, like recycled. Oh, foam. so that's what that yeah. is. But yeah, so it's, it's it's like the Yeezy see-through material, but a whole heck of a lot better. Yeah, because like they only did it like to the touch. You know what I'm saying? It's just yeah, yeah. But these, I was kind of on the fence while I was doing the review. I'm like, I think I like these, but. As I, because afterwards I was doing the photo shoot, you know what I'm saying, getting all the pictures together, and then I was like, oh yeah, these, these are good. So definitely at least watch the, uh, what's that, the, the my personal thoughts section, or the on feet. That's where you get all the close ups and stuff. Are you, are you gonna do some outfit changes? What's that? <laughs> are you gonna put some fits together? To match your I shirt? don't. <laughs> Like only on Instagram, but other than that, <laughs> never happens. At um, actually, like what was it on my on the review that I did for the? I want to say it was the the Vapor Max twenty twenty ones, and whatever else I reviewed that same day, possibly the Pumas. If you watch the, because I when I record my stuff, like I, if I'm doing multiple videos in the same day or whatever. I'll do the on feeds together. So I'll shoot the front view first. So I'll put, do one pair, then switch, do the second pair. Then I'll do the swooping thing second, right? So I'll do one pair, then the other pair. So on that day, I like I put on some pants. I, I already had pants. I put on different pants. And so then I did the review or did the video. Then I switched into some different pants because I was wearing different shoes and the colors matched better. 
But then I forgot to change back when I did like the second portion. So if you watch the Vapor Max 20 video, 2021 video, that's why you'll see me wearing two different colors of pants in that video is because I forgot to change. So <laughs> little fun fact that you never would have noticed. Oh, I never noticed. Yeah. So yeah, little little behind the scenes stuff, you know. You'd be amazed what goes on into making those videos sometimes. And now there's Chip. Yo, what's up? He says, I just got off work, so I'm tuning in late. You know so what? As far as that's fine. What was picked up? Um, I grabbed these in a second chance to change the world nines. Those are okay. Um, because they released again, I think a couple of days ago, um, alongside the PSG Jordan ones. Um, there were these. And then there were two other pair. And I mean, like three of the four were um, a pair that I would have been interested in, but um, somebody I know has really wanted these. So instead of going for those other three, I went for these for them because they were really excited when they saw them, when they released and they couldn't get them. So I picked those nice. up. That's nice. Yeah. Um, I picked up a pair of these because I forgot I made a bid. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of those times that happens in every sneakerhead's life. I had early access for those and I didn't check my thing and I didn't get them. I've never had early access to I've anything. Only twice, and they're probably never going to give it to me again. No. Yeah, the only early access I had was from Adidas today for the NMDs and for 220. I said, no, thank you. I, me too. I said, no, thank you. Um, I picked up the Michigan State Dunks. Those are nice. They're actually nice. They're actually really nice in hand. Um, I would like these a lot better with white laces in them. So I've been trying to track down some white laces so that uh, the laces won't drown into the shoe and they will show a lot better. Um, I got the orange yeah. white ones. I wanted those, but for whatever reason, I couldn't get those. And then, like, I picked up a pair oh, of these. Okay. Um, and they really went all in on the quality as far as for the little people. Aww. So they are the Ama Manier so cute. threes. And then they came, they even came with an extra set of laces. So, that lace is bigger than the shoe. Right. The whole, <laughs> <laughs> and um, so, like, I really love the story behind the Ama Manier threes. Um, James Whitner, he did. He did the shoe in dedication to his mother. Um, and they've even got a little, I don't know, they might be too small to do it. I don't feel like grabbing my pair, but they even have little quotes from his mother on the back of the heel tabs. So, um, yeah, I picked up a lot more, but I just don't feel like going to go get them. Hey, there's no problem, you know, like, you got to leave something to the imagination or at least to the channel so people can go and they can click on you and be like, oh, let's see what else he has. Assuming right. you have the videos. <laughs> I mean, if you don't have the videos up, then it doesn't always work. But if you have the videos, I just finished my last one today. I'm going to record or not record, but edit it after this. But what about you, Amy? You want to show off any? I know you picked up a thing or two. Um. Uh I mean, you don't have to. The yeah, thing I got was the mids and those, and um, that was about it. Which and mids? Did oh, and the LeBron, I'm LeBron 18s. She got those <laughs> tropical twist mids. The uh, yeah, those. They're like the teal and black and white. So, oh, okay. I haven't seen those in person, but of course I saw them on the picture on the screen. So yeah, I like those. I just got those. Yeah, I was. But the. I said I wasn't going to buy any more ones or mids because they're uncomfortable. And then I was like, saw those and I bought them. Well, <laughs> maybe one day you'll have to try the uh, those comfort Jordan ones, like the Zoom. 
I'm gonna, yeah. get, I'm gonna get those comfy 11s or <laughs> what are they the comfy? Oh yeah, I forgot about those. Like, I'm yeah, those like, I'm gonna, let's go to the outlet though first. Try I mean, I I just don't buy a lot of drawers. Like today, like when I was doing my little getting all my stuff together and looking at it, it's like I think uh, I'm pretty sure it was Asics, then Adidas, and then yeah. For like what I bought the most of, yeah, I got like I got two pairs of Jordans, and th- no, this is like over my little quarter over the last quarter, right? Right. I got two pairs of Jordans in the last three months. Wow! And they beat out the Vans and Pumas. That's it. <laughs> I, like, I, I think. <laughs> I, I think I bought my first pair of Air Force Ones this year. I can't say period because I bought those um, those Niger uh, React uh, Air Force Ones last year. Oh, yeah. But I bought my first pair of Air Force Ones this year for a grand total of two in the last two years. Um, these I'm extremely excited to see what they look like. And I was extremely happy that uh, I was able to grab them for retail. That I was happy that they were sitting on the site and that I was able to pay retail for a pair of Air Force Ones again. I, yeah, I saw some girl walking around in a pair of Air Force Ones today. I don't like Air Force Ones, so I was like, I don't like her. No. <laughs> I, yeah, that's not pairs of Air Force Ones. One's recycled. And I bought them too big because I forgot how they ran big. And then I got the Griffies. Uh, yeah, they, it looks like something that would run a little big. But in all seriousness, like, I don't know. It's just, it's one of those models that I just could never get into. But at the same time, I like, I, I do, I like the, like the Cortez, you know? And like most people are like, really? Why? Yeah. I have a worker that Cortez. loves those. She wears them every day. Apparently, my mom is a fan of the Cortez as well. So, yeah. Go it figure. was genetically passed down. Yeah, I had them too. <laughs> I used to wear them all the time. And every um, like I used to wear Air Force Ones all the time. So I got burnt out on Air Force Ones, and like a lot of times now, when I look at them, I'm <laughs> like, Air Force Ones are ugly, but they're a part of who I am because like New York, they love Air Force Ones. And Atlanta love Air Force Ones. I don't know about anywhere else because I haven't heard, you know, about many other people representing Air Force Ones the way, <clears throat> excuse me, New York and Atlanta does. But um, yeah, I mean, hmm. yeah, deny who you are. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Stu back in the day was LA Gears. Oh uh, yeah, I remember those. I, I wanted Nikes and Jordan. <laughs> Bomb, bomb me, LA gears, and I was on the basketball team, so it was really embarrassing. I used to play, <laughs> I used to play little league baseball in my LA gears, and you would see my feet light up as I ran around the base. <laughs> Jeez, like, yeah, I've, I've never had any light up shoes, but you know, may, maybe now, like, and I just got my first pair of Pumas. Maybe it's on to my first pair of light up shoes now. I got <laughs> for the first time, so. What's that? I, I got my glow shoes for the first time. My shoes are glow in the dark. Oh. I just got my first. No, I didn't. I, I keep thinking this was my first pair of glow in the dark shoes, those Ultra Boosts, but it was actually the Jordan, the Wings Fives. Mm-hmm. However, there's more glow on those Ultra Boosts than those other ones. So just wanted to see what. Hey, Shannon, what's going on, little lady? But, um, wait, and where, what state are you in, Amy? I'm in. I'm. In, I say I'm in California. I'm in Sacramento. Okay. okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Cause for some reason, I was thinking you were like of the uh, the Maryland. I know there's like a lot of people up in like Maryland or something. And for some reason, I thought you were one of those people in that little group. No. Originally <laughs> from. I'm mean, originally from New York, but I live out here. Okay. Hello, Shannon. How are you? Hope you had a great day. I as do I. I uh, she's usually hanging out in the Dell's channel. She's 
also has a lot of like the movie type memorabilia and whatnot, like the figures and stuff. Nice. Yeah. Which is a very good thing to have, you know? I think I just bought a whole bunch of figures, but I don't remember what they were. I just, yeah, I haven't bought as many lately as I would like to, but it's because I had to set some money aside for some stuff. But once I see how much that's going to take, you better believe like ringside collectibles is about to get a whole bunch of my money. <laughs> that's crazy. So I, I, think I, I, did a, I did a pre-order for a Rhinox, the Beast Wars Transformers. I don't know when that's supposed to come. See, so, I <laughs> it's like you guys are in a different language. Oh, <laughs> yeah, well, well, you should know about the Beast Wars then. <laughs> no, see, that's a common misconception. You can't have too much stuff. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean, right. unless you get to the point to where you can't get into the home anymore, sure. But I've seen you do your little walkthroughs of getting things. Like, you've still got hallways that you can traverse or whatever. <laughs> so you're fine, right? <laughs> it's okay. As like, long as you can turn to the side and yeah. still breathe as you walk through your home, you're still okay. I will say, like, I, I now I I'm not gonna say I have too much like of these figures, but I do need to get like another shelf of some sort so I have somewhere to put some of them. You know, it's because like I opened a whole bunch of things and I just I put them all over there on the counter by like the sink and stuff like in the kitchen. Oh yeah, mom, your your wrestling figures are eating you alive. And my mom, she because she was up here like a couple weeks ago or something, and she was like, "Oh man, these are so cool!" Because she's been to like a couple of WrestleManias and stuff, so she yeah. like recognizes people. Like, remember we saw him before he signed with them and all that. So yeah, I remember that. And she's looking at all the details. And, and your figures are cool. What's that? <laughs> I said that's awesome when mom tells you your figures. Oh, are yeah. cool. Cause she's looking at it, she's like, now I see why you buy these things. She was like wow. so amazed. She was telling, trying to tell my dad, he's like, look at this one. He's like, yeah, he bought me that one. Like, I have that. It's like, see, pay attention. Yeah. You should get like one of those like glass uh, cases from IKEA with the light on it where they light up. You know, like I've seen some people that have those things and they just kind of put the lights in there or something. Yeah. But, yeah, you know, and that's the thing. Like, I, I have this stuff, and like, I look around, and it's like, I, it brings some of it brings back memories, or sometimes you just set stuff up, and it's like makes a cool little thing. Like, how I have the Power Rangers fighting the Insane Clown Posse over there. <laughs> See, like, my daughter knows the Power Rangers. She, she totally understand everything you're talking about because she's a collector. Okay, oh, yeah. yeah, I have, I have every single Power Rangers item from the '90s until now. Wow. I do not. <laughs> That's all I can say. Do you reckon? Or were you like a He-Man person at all, um, Amy? Do you, do you yeah. follow that? Yeah. One? <laughs> and all that. I used to watch those. It's okay, cool. yeah, because I just it's on Netflix. Them. You can watch She-Ra on Netflix. Yeah. I just got some He-Man figures. My favorite. I used to. Well, I watch. I used to watch He-Man. I was as a kid. I loved He-Man. Okay, yeah, I was a huge He-Man person when I was younger, and then. When I got older and had it and started working, then it started to show that I was apparently still a huge He Man guy. Wow. I was I bought a lot of that stuff. I just they they're doing these crossovers with wrestlers right now, so I have a bunch of mm, those. Yeah. Well. So I just got that. Well, I, I picked those up like maybe two or three weeks ago, but I just did a video about them today, so that'll probably be up tomorrow, I guess. That sounds. About you know right. they're doing a new He Man cartoon series. I heard about that. It's going to be like and they've got something. new figures for it. They've rolled out Skeletor so oh. far. I'm gonna, now I'm going to be back in my collecting days again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I meant to send you the uh, the Power Rangers that Super 7 was making, but you already saw those, I'm assuming, right? Yes, I have. The okay. Goldar, the yeah. T-Rex, the Green Ranger, and the Yellow Ranger. Okay. Yeah. And they're also making... Do um, you remember Silverhawks, Amy? Okay, yeah, like they're making some pretty cool looking silver hawks, and I'm like, ah, like I gotta stop following these things, you know? Because like I see it, and it's like now I want that, and they they they're putting out some more of the 
the anime, not them, but like NECA is putting out more of like the the Ninja Turtles figures that are done in like a style where it looks like they're animated. Oh, no. I like animation everything. She's What's that? A, my daughter's animation. I think she's gonna be a YouTuber because <laughs> she knows how to edit her own videos and. That's stuff. amazing. I'm like. She teaches me a few things. I'm like, well, she took a video. She took video editing in school, though. So wow, that's awesome. Oh, see, like, I wish I had some structured like, learning to oh, making videos. Talented with that stuff. I'm like, how did you? She's, she had to show me how to set up Zoom. I'm like sitting over like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> see, I'm, I'm like computer inclined because that's like, you know, that's what pays the bills or whatever. Mm -hmm. But so I do pretty well with like picking up on things, but. I do wish that I had actually learned how to make videos and stuff because that would have been helpful. <laughs> but yeah. I, I figured out a lot, you know, some of it comes through just time, you know, like I don't know how many videos I've made. It's around 560. So in that time, like you pick up a thing or two, you know, you get into your grooves and all that. But I'm very sure that there's a lot of little things that I do that like take longer than they should if I do like some random shortcuts or something. But maybe one day I'll like take a class or something and learn more about Premiere because I know that it can do a lot more than what I use it for. Yeah, yeah. And whenever I get a new computer, maybe I'll start using After Effects, put some explosions in my videos or something. <laughs> Do I do do I no I don't even use After Effects for exposures and stuff like that. Like like you can do simple stuff in, in Premiere Pro. No, no. I want something on par with like Deadpool or something. You know, I want those, <laughs> those high end movie design. So you want green screen and and I want it all scratch effects. <laughs> all for like a an eight minute video about me talking about the new Matt Hardy figure. <laughs> That's what I'm, <laughs> I want to sit here and talk about wrestling figures and have like flashing lights and airplanes crashing or whatever when I'm talking about stuff. That's that's what's going to happen. Why does this look so weird? Is this okay? Never mind. I thought that was awkward. But for now, though, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing wrapped up and stuff. I appreciate you guys stopping in, saying hi, Amy. Thank you. If I'm not mistaken, this is your first time being on one of the, the lives here, right? I'm wow. Like, I'm really shy. And I, did, I was like, oh, my hair's not even down. I look a hot mess. But I'm like, <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's that's a big step forward. Congratulations. <laughs> my first, um, <laughs> my, hey, my hair's not down either. It's fine. Neither is homegrown. So Yeah, my hair is all pressed and really bad right now. Okay. So. <laughs> uh, I don't feel bad now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just sit down and because like if you saw the beginning, like I just turned the camera on. It's like I sat here for a minute, like kind of I was waiting on the air conditioning thing to turn off, so it wouldn't be super noisy when I started. And I was like, ah, screw it. It's probably just gonna be me for the first fifteen minutes anyway. And then just right. turn it on, and I kind of treat it like an actual video and just start talking. But now I need to do some. Luckily, the two videos I did today will take like even for me like no editing whatsoever, pretty much. Minus slipping in some pictures of some shoes I bought my dad, and then those will go up tomorrow. Yeah, that sounds right. And then I'll be good for a little while. Yeah, yeah, Thank I'm you. on a roll. I got two videos coming out tomorrow, and, and well, not two tomorrow, but one tomorrow and one the day after, and then one the day after which my videos don't usually come consecutive like that. They usually come like twice a week, but I've got so many that I can do them. I can be like my own little mini version of Shoes Up. So, hey, there you go. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, just schedule them, space them out just enough. When, usually, if I have multiple videos in a day, like I'll space them out evenly over a 24 hour period, you know? Yeah, <laughs> right. So you'll see them at like random times. And if you're paying attention, you'll catch on and lay off. Like, oh. But the next video will probably be at seven. And then it will be. But, <laughs> but the ones to, for tomorrow, I don't know, it's just like an action figure one and then my quarterly pickups. So I'll probably send those both out in the morning and just be done with it. 
Yeah, I gotta have some the ghost watch at work. All right. Well, what time do you go in? Well, wait. If you're on. Hmm. I go in at seven a.m. Seven. Okay. So yeah, yeah. That'll be up. I'll make sure it's up by then. Yeah. Okay. Gotta slide. Gotta watch on the down low. I slide. I, we can listen to music because <laughs> I work in uh, work for doing coding. So. Ah. Okay. Wow. That's awesome. That's <laughs> That it is, yeah. I wish I'd learned more. Like, I had my little ventures into it, but never stuck with it enough, you know. Yeah. When in my in my younger days, and it's one of the first things I started learning. So I've learned I've learned a little bit of like a lot of languages, and I just never completely stuck with one. But now, when I have to do certain like scripts or whatever, it definitely helps to have like seen a lot of crap in the past. Yeah. And, and now I'm now look at me. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it 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 pays the bills, right? Can't complain, and it keeps me entertained during the day when I'm yeah, not doing this. That keep me wor- awake at work. It gets more. Yeah. So well, hopefully like my your, my video will. Um, it's a lot of uh, I watch everybody's reviews. <laughs> well, hopefully my video will give you some kind of entertainment just in the right in the wrong setting though it'll just also just put you to sleep because that's what i've been told so <laughs> and and i have lived that one time so I, was, I had i was in premiere and i was like playing through a part of the video so i could see like where i needed to cut it and like next thing you know i'm like waking up and i'm like hey, this whole video like, what is they were right relaxing voice <laughs> yeah because i'm sitting there and i'm right. like and then I wake up, I'm like, oh, great. Like, maybe I just won't make this clip. <laughs> you got the Barry White tone. There you go. Yeah. Hey, it is what it is. You know? And my voice, when I'm nervous, it goes extremely high <laughs> for some reason. Or I sound like I'm from the South. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's, yeah. That's like I'm nervous. See, and that's one that's the, the Southern thing. It's, I know some people like they have their accents that like come out when they get like worked up or something, but yeah. Me. Oh, you? Yeah, I. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you'll notice my like my Iowa accent will come out, and they'll be like, "Oh my god, he's really excited about this corn," you know, and then <laughs> that'll be it. But <laughs> after that, <laughs> after that, it goes back to normal. But all right, but again, I'm gonna get this closed up. I know I said that like probably like an hour ago, but. I mean it this time, and then I'll be we'll be back do some lives again at some other point. I don't know when, so don't ask. But it'll happen, and when it does, well, there might be a notification that goes out, or it'll be like today where there isn't. So okay. either way, I'll let you guys say goodbye to people. Go around the room real quick if you want to say anything in particular. <laughs> Thank you oh. for joining. Oh no problem. Thanks for showing up. Appreciate that. And homegrown? I'm homegrown kicks. I have a channel where I talk about shoes. Sometimes I throw out some hats. Sometimes I throw out some action figures. But beyond that, I throw out a really good time. So come and join my party over on my channel. Hopefully I'll see you there. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Party. I I also have a channel. If you look hard enough on the internet, you'll find it. I'm not being that for me to you. Have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. We'll cross paths at some point again, more than likely, unless you're just kind of passing through and you don't like what you see. That's fine. Screw you. Later, people. Peace. Bye.